All right, back for the final. Hand is heavy on land, but I really don't want to mulligan on the play, and I have a solid thing to cast on turn 3 and on turn 4. Judge can make me come back in the game card advantage-wise if, um, if I draw a couple, plus 1, plus 1 spell. And I have the mana to cast pretty much everything in my deck, so... I think it's good enough. Don't love keeping 5 lander, because that can easily go wrong, but... In this specific spot, I think it's the one you should... You can keep, not sure if you should keep, but you certainly can keep. Server exhibition was not a bad draw. Especially if we are playing against a red deck, that might be quite aggressive, and that might have some one toughness creature. Pioneer was a great draw, given that we have the judge. It's pretty likely to die to the first removal spell my opponent might have in a red deck, but if it's the case, it'd be what it'd be. If they have, uh, what is it called, Chandra Pyro Elix there and kill two, uh, my my servos end of turn, I'm pretty happy because then the Pioneer is less likely to die. Turns out they did not have it or they wanted to keep it if they did have it. Pianalar. Okay, that one is... is good, <laughs> to say the least. So let me reread her. So I can just block there. Oh, it's a Thopter, it's not a Servo, yeah. Mm, either way, I'm just gonna make a 3-2 uh, Pioneer. And pass the turn. Yeah. <laughs> so I cannot block if they attack because they can boost the thing. I feel like my Pioneer might die anyway, or I feel like they might... Okay, they have a Pioneer of their own. Sure. They will probably make a token, because they can... With Pianalar, you kind of want to make some tokens. Fumigate, that's interesting. I think what we want to do, though, is to... We don't have double white yet, first. And second, making some more counter creatures is really good for the arm armor crap judge. I hope we'll get to draw two cards of that, that'd be sweet. Fumigate is nice protection against randomness, I, sh I will say. Okay, the Artisan is blocking pretty well. The Harrier. Okay, so now we can draw some cards. Uh, well, those cards were not very... Well, uh, Hondo Week is good, Hondo Week is good. What I kind of want to do is let my opponent use some removal and stuff to be able to attack through my blockers, spend some more cards to make their board better. Well, Skyskiff is not the best, but other than that, it's fine. And then... Oh, interesting. I think I will just double block. And uh, again, I have Fumigate, so if they want to use Streak or whatever, I'm happy enough. I don't really care about what, what will happen here. If we trade a 3 2 4 3 4, happy enough. If they use Streak, happy enough. I don't care. This can only boost Artifact, right? Yeah. Impeccable timing. Well, sure. No, they got a... it's not a 2 for 1, it's a 2 for 2. It's fine, it means they can start attacking with the Pioneer and the Sky Skiff, but... we might be able to fumigate. We will probably see fumigate pretty soon. I can Wild Wander. I don't love playing a creature and then fumigating, but the creature gives me the fumigate. Yeah, sure. Y use use all your removal on my creature. I love it. I love it. My opponent will be left with a sky skiff, which is not nothing. But next turn we are probably something taking something like five, if if I should guess. And then we'll be gaining what almost ten of the fumigate. So, and we'll have two removal left in hand. Sorry about that. It's gonna, yeah. It's it's my it's my computer. And you cannot just somehow you cannot just remove it from the screen, I don't know what's going on. It's gonna, you know, 
get away at some point. It's just annoying, but it is what it is. I'm gonna block Pian Lahar. If they wanna use another trick, I'm happy enough to. If we trade, I'm fine. Please get away, things. You you are annoying. Yeah. Mm. Wist Weaver Angel on the Pioneer. Sure, sure. You can you can do whatever you want, my friend. Finally. <laughs> the thing got away. It's the only thing I really cared about right now. <laughs> I don't really care about their things. Well, I will beat down. I think they should block because now it's pretty obvious that my card in hand is Fumigate, but they might take the damage. Either way, I don't lose much by attacking. Alright, and I drew a creature, which is amazing because it makes it means that Hundawick does something. It means I have a blocker for the skiff. It's just great. <laughs> Oh, Fumigate is a good card. <laughs> Ballista Charger. Oh, that one is threatening. Mavon doesn't really have anything to crew with yet, though. Harrier. Alright, sweet. We have three removal in hand. I don't feel too bad about that. The Charger is annoying, but I, I can deal with a couple creatures. Thriving Ibex cannot be used on the Charger. <laughs> Eddie Trail Hulk. Alright, my oven is tapped out now, which is good. I will get rid of the Ibex. I like making my thing a 3-5 and... Oh, they can double crew. Yeah, that's right. That is that is certainly right. So uh, I guess I'll go down to 14. I can leave with that, though. If they continue to draw creature with enough power to crew on the charger, it's going to be annoying, but there is not a whole lot I can do. I mean, I think I'm ahead, but like I still I mean, that thing is still pretty annoying. I can impeccable time in the sky ski if I can revoke privileges of the next creature they play and I have a three turn clock, but yeah, I mean, I guess if they draw just a one power, power creature, they can crew one here and then crew the sky ski and the one power creature into the charger. I mean, they could have, now it's not going to be possible anymore, but maneuver. Not looking good when you have a 4 or 5. I guess if they find a removal I can save my thing, which is good. I could also trap the oak. I can get a chunk blocker if needed. But since this is a very precise 2 turn clock, I don't think I want to be doing that. Land was not good. So I guess my opponent wants to champ here since they did not attack. Maybe they want to chump plus use a pump spell, in which case I should get them with acrobatic maneuver. Maybe chump plus use a removal. Mm -hmm. If they just chump, I'm happy. If they have a trick, I'm happy too. Mm, yeah. Still slightly worried about that thing, but. Oh, that thing. Is oh, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> They drew that that dude, and it's really annoying because that thing is a is a two turn clock too. So if they draw another three power creature next turn, oh they didn't what? My weapon forgot about. Oh, I'm happy now. <laughs> That's great for me. I should be at 7. Since I drew Glint Sleeve Artisan, I don't think it should matter. I don't think it will matter, but still. We'll make a token here. And we'll revoke privileges here. I mean, they forgot to crew last turn, so... It's fine, but still. Yeah, why would you not crew? This thing can crew, right? I mean, if, if the Toolcraft Exemplar cannot crew, this world doesn't have any sense. So, let me read that. So, if you combat, yeah, it's, it becomes a 3-2 and then you crew. 
Maybe they did not have a stop at the beginning of combat, so after the ability resolve, they lost the priority. Yeah, that could be that. So white red beat down with some powerful vehicles and some flyers, a lot of flyers. One, two, three, four, yeah. My opponent has four flyers. I think this is the kind of matchup where I could want to take down. I'm going to side out the goggles. Maneuver did not seem great. I've played only against white deck, but none of them cast a revoke privileges, so not great. And they showed two pretty powerful vehicles, especially the char the charger. I think is annoying. Now takedown can take care of the the sky skiff, but um, yeah, the the ballista charger is kind of annoying. I have nothing that really deals with that very efficiently, so maybe I want creeping mold over gear up or over herald of the fair probably. Yeah, all right. Saying to take down in is, is kind of risky, but my open showed like I think something like eighty percent of the creature they played were flyers, so seems seems like a good idea. Ooh, hand is great. Any land, any hand with two lands, including a forest and servant of the conduit, is just amazing. That card is so good. Not on multi six, put a card on bottom, I think. No, on top. Alright. I don't need more lands. I want to cast turn 3 Rashmi, that'd be sweet. I want to craft Eternities. Take down, okay. Well, there's nothing to take down. Could become clunky, like, this could mean, like, I mold to 6. No, I don't. I really don't think so. Like, if I draw 2 in a game, it might be clunky, but my opponent played so many flying creatures, I don't really anticipate that thing being bad. Uh... I kind of like Fairground Wander Ward in the top tier because the top tier is annoying. I don't want to spend a takedown on it, and then it means that even if the Warden die, they don't get the top tier. And against the red deck, this is very likely to die in general. So yeah, now I could trade my thing, but I don't love doing that <laughs> because I might want the blue or the second white. Or the fifth mana. Okay, sure. Okay, that's good for me because I have take down. Uh, so I guess we'll take down that thing, and we'll play a three three. And now I'm actually fine attacking. It's only bad if I draw especially Rashmi, but if we trade here it's fine. I mean, PI is in general I think a slightly more threatening card than the Servant. They can maybe flicker it with the Angel and get some more token. You know, the, the top card is gone, but they can still use the ability. So I think it's good enough where I want to get rid of it. I don't care about that dude though. If they want to trade m with my Glint Sieve Arts, then fine. If they take three, fine. I'm gonna take four on the backswing next turn. No, I will not. Okay. Sure. Sure thing, boss. Let us Harrier. Harrier was good last game. What is that? Ooh, Charger is the thing I'm the most and we drew Rashmi getting punished for our greed I don't love seeing the charger do I want to play servo exhibition I think so even if they manage to animate that and they can kill one token then I, I, I get I get one chum block and I take I don't take seven damage and I'm in a spot where I could see myself racing maybe and if they don't have anything that just deals much more damage too which is certainly relevant. Looks like my what? No, I thought they would have pressure point since there was they posed slightly during my beginning of combat. <laughs> Why did I trade you, servant of the conduit? Like the fact that this only cast one card in my 
deck once I play my second planes and second Pia? Come on, dude. Yeah, and what was I trying to say? Yeah, and the fact that I did not have Rashmi and the fact that Pia is pretty good on its on on a horn on her own kind of make me feel like I should have uh, the trade was fine. No, it wasn't. Turns out it was not that great. I don't think they can really afford to attack with the Ballista Charger. Propeller Pioneer. And that's a good one. I think I just want to beat down with my flying flyer. So if I attack with everything, they probably block the judge with the charger. And then I impeccable timing the ballista charger, and that's really good for me. If they block a servo, yeah, they t yeah, I think I'm gonna beat down with everything. They are very likely... No, they did not animate the charger to block. Interesting. Okay, well that's fine too. That is fine. Certainly I'm gonna make the Pioneer E3-2 this way it dodged the charger ability. And I think we won here. I mean, there's a bunch of cards that puts my open back in the game. Fumigate being the first one, but even a couple removal would be pretty good. Like, let's say they get rid of the Pioneer. Well, they are at four, though. Yeah, I'm not even sure there are that many removal that save them at the point, at this point in the game. If they attack with Pia, I'm not gonna block. I think if they attack, it means that they just concede the game more than anything else is away. Double PI sweet though, but, but we got there. Alright, sweet. Some games were not super interactive, I felt like, but I guess Fumigate was really good mo most, uh, more than anything else, so. That was Bent Midrange for you. Hope you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like if it's the case. Thank you for watching, see you for another draft.